The next question is, in one year from now, how will your life be different? And I'd like to have Elizabeth share with us. All right, thank you, Ken, for an interesting question. How will my life be different one year from now? Well, I know for sure if, if God grants me another year, I will be another year older. Now, that is uh, interesting interesting idea because I just entered into another decade and it will be interesting to see what this decade has in store. I think that I'm looking forward to a lot of growth and I think the reason I am excited is because the older you get, the more you realize how important it is to redeem your time. You know, when you're young, you just feel like you have a lot of time and you can take your time and uh, there's so many options and there's so much that you can do that you just feel like you can, you know, just uh, kind of not get so focused and, and not uh, focus in on what you want to develop in your life, what do you want to dedicate, what are the things that are really important in life. And I think that for me, uh, you know, there, there's a verse in the Bible that says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And I really feel like you see that as you get older, because I don't know about you, but I feel like we have Toastmasters meeting and it's like the next day we have Toastmasters meeting again. I feel like time is just slipping by and it's just flying by. So I encourage all of you, even if you're a lot younger than I am, consider your life, consider the time, redeem the time, focus in on those things that are key. And especially for me, the things that have to do with eternal life, because I realize life, this life is very short. So we have to think about what is the true meaning of life. And I thank you, Ken, for asking me that question.